Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome to GNR Central. And I want to talk about a story today that maybe you guys aren't familiar with. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was 2008. It was just before Chinese democracy was about to come out. It was around uh, the spring of 2008. And it seemed like the album was finally done. It was in the record company's hands and it was about to come out. So there was rumors that came out around the time that talked about Guns N' Roses filming a reality series that basically documented their... Uh, their journey to release Chinese democracy after a long wait. And here's what the article had to say. So it says a major music-oriented TV channel had pitched the idea of a reality series to Axl Rose. According to sources close to the project, the show, which would appear on a cable channel that asked not to be identified, would follow the troubled rocker as he continues his decade-long effort to release the Guns N' Roses project Chinese Democracy. The new, still untitled reality show would follow Rose and his band as they prepare for the release of the album, and it would include behind-the-scenes rehearsal and studio footage, as well as interviews with a number of the participants. There's a lot of footage to choose from, said a, new, said a network source. Some of it's incredibly personal and revealing about Axel's life. So according According to the network source, the deal for the show is close but not signed, and part of the holdup seems to be timing as the participants want to integrate the show into a timeline with the lead-up of the album's release, along with the announcement of a limited number of concert dates. So this was published on April 8th of 2008, which was about seven months before Chinese Democracy dropped. However, Del James, who was in Axel's camp, was quick to jump on the matter, delivering an unsurprising response by saying, despite rumors floating around the internet, Guns N' Roses will not be appearing on any reality show or reality TV program to promote their forthcoming album, Chinese Democracy, or for any other reason. Now, the network might have as well just consulted the unofficial GNR spokesman, who was Sebastian Bach around this time. So Sebastian Bach shed some more light on it. He said, I would bet my life you won't be seeing Axl Rose reality TV show. We were gall gallivanting across Europe in 2006. We were sitting at a restaurant and I go, dude, I just shot this reality show for VH1 and they paid me this amount of money. And they basically paid me a million bucks for 10 days of some shit. He's looking at me with this look on his face and he's all quiet and he goes, Sebastian, you don't understand. I will pay VH1 $2 million to leave me the F alone. So Baz told Rolling Stone that in a June 23rd, 2008 interview. I remember hearing this rumor and I remember thinking at the time that it was complete BS because Axel was always a very private person and why on earth would he want to share his life and, you know, his album that may or may not come out in at least at that point in time, it didn't seem like it had a certain release even as early as 2008. So around the time that it's rumored that Axel is offered a reality show to follow the release of Chinese Democracy, there's also some news in the Velvet Revolver camp. So in April of 2008, Scott Weiland is officially fired as the lead singer of Velvet Revolver, and rumors start to swirl on the internet by May of 2008 that the band was offered a chance to have a reality show to recruit Scott Weiland's replacement. So according to Gigwise, Velvet Revolver were offered a chance to use a reality TV show to find a replacement for singer Scott Weiland, drummer Matt Sorum had revealed. So the band have been without a frontman since Weiland's acrimonious split following their European tour the previous month. Speaking to Artisan News, Sorum said that several TV producers had approached them about the idea, including Mark Burnett, who produced Rockstar Supernova and Survivor in America. So Rockstar Supernova, if you guys don't know, actually had Gilby Clark on the show. So however, the drummer said that the band declined the offers because they felt that reality Reality TV wasn't the right forum to use to recruit a new member. He added that they expected to announce more details about Wylan's replacement over the coming weeks. And since his split from the group, Wylan has rejoined his original band, Stone Temple Pilots, and was scheduled to head out on a huge U.S. tour later that month. Now, what's funny is that even though Velvet Revolver rejected the chance to have their own reality show in 2008, they kind of had their own reality show back in 2003, although it wasn't officially released till 2004. So you guys may have seen it on YouTube, but there's a documentary that VH1 shot called The Rise of Velvet Revolver, or it's called Inside Out, The Rise of Velvet Revolver. And they actually put out an official press release in November of 2004 that said, with one of The Rock's most charismatic frontmen, Scott Weiland, guitarist Slash, Duff, bassist Duff McKagan, and drummer Matt Sorum, uh, and guitarist Dave Kushner, have truly exploded this year. Their debut album, Contraband, which entered the Billboard album chart at number one, quickly achieved platinum status, spurred by two number one rock singles, Slither and Fall to Pieces, and earned the distinction of becoming the biggest selling rock album to be released in 2004. But the group's backstory is one of the most interesting in all of rock, as viewers will get to see in VH1's newest installment of Inside Out series, Inside Out, The Rise of Velvet Revolver, which premiered on Wednesday, December 1st, 
on in 2004. So the special documented the ups and downs of Velvet Revolver for over one year, from the applicant screenings and their initial search for a lead singer to the video shoot for their first single, Slither. Viewers will be able to experience their first live performance and hear intimate interviews with the band members. After eight months of not finding a worthy frontman, the group is running out of time and patience, and when Scott Weiland of Stone Temple Pilot rehearses, they instantly know that they have found their guy. But just when they're about to, just about when they're about to kick their musical engine into full throttle, they hit a speed bump when Scott is arrested. And instead of giving up on the singer that solidified their vision, the group bands together, remaining loyal to their friend and bandmate, determined to stick together. So if you guys want to see the documentary, I've put the link down below. So what's even more funny is that a year before Velvet Revolver got this proposal to have their own reality show, both Duff and Slash ended up appearing on um, E! Uh, Rockstar Wives. It's like a show that was on the E! Network. It was all about being married to different rock stars. And they interviewed Susan, who was Duff's wife. They interviewed Perla, who was then Slash's wife. And they even interviewed Duff and Slash uh, t- as well on the show. And then uh, Duff and his wife appeared on another show, which was a reality show called Married to Rock. And they were in a couple episodes of those. Those used to be on YouTube, but I can't seem to find them anymore. But this episode, this seven-minute snippet is on YouTube if you guys want to go check it out. So that does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button. And would you have watched a Velva Revolver a reality show that would have you know, followed them to basically go follow, find a singer? I think it may have been interesting because in the end, they never ended up finding a singer. And maybe they would have had they gone this route. But I think the band didn't want to look like they were doing like their version of American Idol. And I think it would have been fascinating to see a reality series about that basically document Axel's and his band's journey to go release Chinese Democracy. I think that would have been very fascinating. I think it would have been fascinating to have any kind of documentary that would have footage of those Chinese Democracy sessions. So thanks for watching. Guys, hit the like button and be sure to subscribe and go check us out on GNRcentral.com for the latest Guns N' Roses news. Take care. Hey, this is Dizzy Reed from Guns N' Roses, and you're watching GNR Central. Yeah! <laughs>